Hi, my name is Taylor Ryan, and today I'm going to be cosplaying as Deadpool. Deadpool really means a lot to me personally because being Deadpool at conventions has allowed me to be myself finally. You know, I wasn't able to really do that when I wasn't Deadpool. It's mainly what draws me to the character itself is his personality. He's rarely serious and he's just a really fun guy to really be around. It really helped me personally to kind of just bring me out of my shell. Every iteration of Deadpool, depending on which artist, has always been there's one little, even one simple change to his costume. There's not always just one set dead way to dress up as Deadpool. You can, there's so many different ways. I'm cosplaying as the Marvel Now version of Deadpool. Deadpool was created as a one-off character in one of the X-Men series by Rob Liefeld. He started out as a just kind of a minor character. He was a character who was only created to be a background character. But then the next thing you know, boom, he's on t-shirts, he's on coffee mugs, he's even on underwear. And I know that because I actually have some. So let's break down Deadpool, shall we? Um, Deadpool was a, was a mercenary, you know, standard. But then he got sick with cancer. And he was pretty much on death's door, given a major healing factor due to New Wolverine. And now, he's a quick-talking, wise-cracking, sword-slinging merc. And he's everybody's best friend, if you stay on his good side. Deadpool in two words. Pure insanity. What I mean by pure insanity, you can pretty much mash Deadpool up with anything. If you've seen like in the comic book where Deadpool kills Deadpool, there's been so many different variations of the character. There's Ladypool, there's Kidpool, there's Dogpool. There's so many different variations of Deadpool and you could literally fool me whole museum with the different kinds. Oh, and I'll let you in on a little secret. You know that Deadpool that's been in the Spider-Verse videos? That's me. Reality Dragon.